This workout gave the back and shoulders my client needed to become a superhero in one of their film projects. Hold the Wii Remote in your right hand with the buttons facing towards you. Follow along with the arrows as they appear on screen. All right, are you ready for today's workout? I know I am. Now clear the space around you and make sure you've got plenty of room to work out safely. We're going to start with a warm-up, do some strength exercise, and finish it off with some cardio to cool down. Along the way, I'll be checking to make sure you're following, doing the exercises properly. Get ready for an awesome workout. Let's get started. Let's get the body moving by going into a nice jog. All right, so we're going to keep the weight on the toes, going to keep pumping those elbows and arms forward and back. Now, for me, visualization is a big tip on this one. Picture yourself somewhere that you really want to be. Is it a beach? Is it a forest? Is it running up a mountain? And visualize yourself jogging towards something. And keep swinging your arms, feel your heart rate slowly getting up there. And when it's up there, keep it up there. You don't have to sprint. There's nowhere you're in a rush to get. It's just about keeping your body moving forward. Keep yourself light on your toes, head up, swing those elbows, feel yourself breathe throughout this exercise. You can also feel yourself a little bit of twisting through your midsection. Activate your core. Keep going and swinging your arms. Now, for me, it's about a beach. I like jogging down that beach, looking out towards the ocean on the right-hand side as I keep swinging my arms back and forth. You've got 15 seconds left. Keep going. Push yourself straight through this one. Drive yourself towards the end. Keep pumping those arms, lifting those knees up. You've got five seconds and you're almost there. Keep going. Three, two, one, and done. All right, let's warm up our core with some trunk crosses. Now, here's what I love about this exercise. What you're going to do is you're going to cross your body, bring your opposite elbow to your opposite knee. As we bring it back and across our body, we keep twisting and squeezing through our core and our midsection. We're going to be using a few different abdominal exercises here and a few different muscle groups at the same time. So every time we bring it back and across our body, you're going to feel your obliques, which are the sides or the love handle area. You're also going to feel the rectus abdominis, which are the abs in your front, but most importantly, we're going to be using a midsection muscle called the transverse abdominis. It's also called your corset muscle, and it's involved in twisting or rotation of the trunk. And every time that we come across our body and we bring your opposite knee to our opposite elbow, make sure you're twisting your body in opposite directions. So as your lower body twists right, your upper body twists left, and vice versa. Keep going. Keep yourself twisting through your body. Strong core, strong midsection. Keep your heart rate elevated. Listen to your body and feel your body getting leaner. Five seconds. On four, three, two, one, and done. Jumping jacks. All right, now, this is a great cardio movement when you do this because you're working your upper body, your lower body. You're bringing blood to the shoulders. You're bringing blood to the abductors or the abductors, those hip muscles on the outside. Quads, you're bringing blood to the knees, to the hips, and it is really intense. You probably feel your heart rate getting up right now. You feel your blood pumping. You feel that fat beating partition from your skin, from your muscles, from your organs. Your body core temperature is getting up. And you want to think about the two positions as you do this when you do the jumping jacks. You're creating the letter X and you're creating the letter I. So here we are in the letter X and back to the letter I as you do this. Keep going through these. And as you do these, you can have a little fun with them. You know, if you just want to kind of rotate as you do these, that's okay to do. Up and down, breathe through them. Don't stop. And also, listen to your body. If your joints hurt, jump a little lower. If, you're jump, if your, your knees or your ankles hurt, maybe just move that upper body. You're almost there. Keep pushing through it. You've got five, four, three, two, one more, and relax. Insert the Wii, the Wii Remote in your right hand. With Superman, lower back, posture. Let's get down. Let's get right into it. All right. So, down onto your stomach. You know your strength level. You know how good you are in this position. Listen to your body. You're probably going to start off at this pace. 
and rest. Up and rest. Up and rest. As you become a little more fit, it's going to look more like this. And I will show you somebody who is that fit. And no, it's not me. This is what I call fit. Look how strong her lower back is. You'll also notice, by the way, she's working her glutes. Look at her upper glutes, look at her butt work, how they're connected, how they communicate to her lower back as you do this. Now, you want to have a great butt? The key to having a great butt is having a strong lower back. It's what gives you that arch in your lower back. And now that is a great arch, and that's why she looks so fit and toned. And that's why you are going to look so fit and toned if you keep doing these Superman exercises the way you're doing them. Now, listen to your body. If you fizzle out and you can't keep doing them, rest for a second and keep going. Rest and keep going. Do what you can do. I'm going to join you on these last 10. Here we go. Ooh. Burn through these. We've got three seconds, two seconds, one second, and relax. That's phenomenal. Keep that up, and you're moving in the right direction. All right, now let's punch it out. I want your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, a little spring in your knees. You're going to put your hands up, and the most important thing here is about burning body fat and feeling your midsection twist. So every time we reach and punch across our bodies, the power and the strength is actually not coming from our shoulders. It's not coming from our arms. It's actually coming from transferring our weight from our left to our right side and twisting our torso. So what happens is as my chest twists, my right arm follows. My right arm does not lead my chest. That's really important. Twist your upper body and feel your arm follow. And every time you reach and punch across your body, not only are you using so many different muscles, which means so many calories burnt and your heart rate getting up, but you also work your core in a way that is so good for you because it pulls that corset in. You know, we explained that before on other exercises. Every time we can cross multiple planes and twist your body, your midsection gets tighter. Keep going. You're almost there. Punch across your body. Stare straight ahead. And you have five seconds left. Don't stop. Keep punching. Breathe. Two. One. And done. All right. Time to jump some rope. Now, here's what's great about jumping rope without a rope. You don't need a rope. That's the fact. Not only am I bad at jumping rope, I love the fact that when I do jump rope without a rope, I don't stop. I don't have to trip on myself. I don't have to worry about getting over that rope. So I want you to imagine that you're just getting up and down. And you can add a lot of your own creativity to this. You can alternate left and right. You can keep only on your left leg, only on your right leg. You can bring those high knees up. But make sure you keep moving those arms and shoulders around, and you're going to feel your heart rate get up really, really quickly. Now, we can add some variety to it. You can bring your legs out and in as you're doing this. You can also bring them forward and back. Call that a scissor jump. And as you're jumping rope, whoo, even I'm getting winded, you will feel yourself getting warmer. That's your core temperature increasing. That's your body burning fat. You're going to feel all the blood coming to your legs, to your shoulders, to your arms. This is a great exercise. Keep going. Keep pushing yourself. You're almost there. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Done. Insert the Wii Remote into your right. Side shuffle. Great cardio movement. It's just going to be very simple. You're going to shuffle from side to side. Now, we're going to pick up the pace on this a bit more. And as you do it, you can actually come down into kind of a semi-modified squat. Let's go side to side. Pick up the pace. As you do these, head up. This is going to work your abductors, the outside hip area. It's going to work some glutes. It's going to work some quads. And let's shuffle side to side. Imagine your slalom skiers and you're skiing down, skiing down that hill and you're moving side to side. Drag that other foot across your body. Good, keep going. Great cardio movement, no equipment needed. It's just you and everyone has their own version of doing these. Now I am a terrible skier, so I prefer these. It's not as cold and it's a lot safer. No skis, 
No ski poles. No ugly ski boots. Just heart rate getting high. Keep going. Don't stop. We're going to do seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Let's keep going with cardio. We've got mountain climbers down to the ground in the push-up position, except it's all about lower body. Let's go. Bring those knees in towards your chest. It's almost like you're jogging, but you're in the bent over position here. Keep going. Keep bringing those knees in towards your chest. Listen to your body. Sometimes you can bring them closer to your chest. Sometimes you can pick up the pace, but the key is you want to constantly keep moving that lower body and your upper body is isometrically holding itself still. You're not moving that upper body, just the lower body. Feel your abs, pull your knees in towards your chest as you do this, okay? So it's not just about hips, it's actually your midsection, your core, that's holding up your hips, and it's helping draw your knees in towards you. Keep going, keep pulling those knees in as you do this. Let's keep going, don't stop. Bring those knees in, feel it work. Feel that upper body still. Bring those knees in. Listen to your body. Woo! Give me three more seconds. Two, one, and relax. I think I'm sweating. <laughs> All right, great. Breathe through it. Feel your heart rate slow down a little bit. Now, that was a good job. Not so bad, right? All right, now, I want you to keep improving yourself as you go along. I want you to feel your muscles getting stronger, feel your body leaning, and it's really a lifestyle. So when you're done today, you got to make sure you're active for the rest of the day when you're not in front of me, okay? Stay tuned for my nutrition tips. They're really going to help you. I'll see you next week. This is a breakdown of everything we just did. Great job. Now, I know we're all scared of fat, but we need fat in our diet. The difference is we want to have good fats, not bad fats. Whether it be omega-6 and omega-3s like we find in fish, olive oils, canola oils, avocados, nuts, and seeds, those are healthy forms of fat, and believe it or not, those fats will keep us healthy and help us burn our own body fat. So don't be scared of the right fats.